So this is factoring by grouping. Some warning signs that you know you should factor by grouping because you're going to have a variety of different problems that might say factor and you have to decide which type of factoring you should use. If there are four terms, factoring by grouping is a good way to go. So there are a few steps you can follow. Number one, you want to uh, break your uh, four-term polynomial into two groups. So I just use a little bracket like this to break it into two pairs, two groups. Number two, You want to factor the GCF from each group. I'll do that in a second. And then number three, factor again. <coughs> All right, so we have these two groups. Now I need to look for a GCF. So I'm looking at 6B cubed minus 3B squared. What is the GCF of those two? 3B squared, good. A little closer. 3B squared. I'm going to run out of room. I'm going to start all the way over to the left because I wrote my steps. Uh, so 3B squared. When I divide... 6B cubed by 3B squared, I'm left with 2B, good. And then 3B squared divided by 3B squared, don't forget the minus sign here. That's minus just minus one. one. Yeah, minus one. And then looking at 4B and minus two, the GCF is, good. So I do plus two, and I'm left with 2B minus one. And this crazy thing happens. What? I have a 2B minus 1 in each part. <gasps> so when number 3 comes in, <laughs> factor again, you're going to factor out that common group. So put that in front, 2B minus 1. And then the other group is going to be my leftovers. Yeah. The 3B squared plus 2. Oh, that makes sense. So if I, this is my final answer. If I foiled this, multiplied it out, and simplified, I would wind up back here. Right? So I'm doing the opposite of foiling. I'm factoring. a great question. We should look into the history of factory. <laughs> Number three. Whoever can find the history of this extra credit. Is it extra credit? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Number three. Looking at these two groups, that's our first step. Looking at the GCF of each one. So 4K cubed minus 20K squared. What's the GCF? Good. 4K squared. It would just be 1K minus 5. Okay, good. 1K or just K minus 5. Plus, don't forget the plus sign there. Mm -hmm. K. Excellent. And again, that crazy thing happened. 1K minus 5. Uh -huh. Something went wrong. So the K minus 5, that's what we factor out in front. And then my leftovers go in that next group, 4K squared plus 5. And you can see how 
4k or k times 4k squared is going to give me my 4k cubed and then I would have my minus 2k squared you can see that with the negative 5 times the 4k squared you can see the plus 5k here and the minus 25 here so if you distribute it you end up right where you started I'm going to skip to number 7 since there's some minus signs in there it can trip us up sometimes so we have the two groups Yes. Seven what? Good. And then when we divide, 21 divided by 7 is 3. And v cubed divided by v squared is v. Remembering we subtract the exponents when we're dividing. Just 2. Good. Because the v squareds would cancel. Now when we look at the second group, it's minus 12v and minus 8. What's the GCF of those two? I heard a 4 and I heard a minus 4. I'm going to go with a minus 4. Since they both have a negative sign and I know I want there to be a plus sign in the end inside the parentheses so that they are the same. So negative 12v divided by negative 4, that's 3v. And negative 8 divided by negative 4, positive 2. Good. Three V plus two is my group that's in common. And then my leftovers is seven V squared and the minus four. So in that second group. Good. So go ahead and try five and nine just to make sure you know what you're doing. Okay. Factoring my grouping. 